another morning turn at the baseball field. Oh boy. Where the work gets done as the stands sit empty. Tony Roselli's used to this kind of work. Good. Doing speed drills for what seems like forever. Don't let the left hand come across your body. Coached by his father, a former Olympian, Tony's agility is off the charts. Good. But what about that swing? So smooth, so effortless, so coached. It's just something that's uh, shared of sports and our both sides are family and we couldn't be closer. Both sides? She's always uh, on my case about watching the ball and uh, picking a hole and where to hit it. She has a sweet swing as well. Cheryl Roselli picked up ping pong in the basement with her father at just seven years old. He used to tell me, he said, when um, you beat me, you know you're good. And I was 11 the first time I beat him. And so it just went on from there. For nine years, she competed at the highest level. By the time I was 15, I was on the national team and got to travel all over the world then. Um, I've been to Sweden three or four times, um, Japan, Yugoslavia when there was a Yugoslavia, Cuba, Barbados, Finland. It's a sport that shaped her life. Table tennis has been good for me. It let me see the world and meet new people and do new things and basically that, and even let me meet my husband. <laughs> so it, um, it was it was a good time. A style that translates to the baseball field, something she proved to Tony a long, long time ago. He thought that he could hit the ball anywhere he wanted to, and my wife tried to tell him, and he said, Mom, what do you know? You just played ping pong. So we went out to the Little League Park in North Little League. So the story goes. We went out there one day, and uh, she was teaching me how to take the ball the other way, and she she didn't miss. She's she hit every ball solid to the opposite field. She didn't even hit a couple out. She's uh, she knows what she's doing there. From that moment on, the teaching's been easy. It's nice when your coach is just right down the hall. I can't say you'd never been there before because they've both been to the top level. So whenever I have a question or uh, like a, a problem, I'll go to them, and they they always have uh, good advice. Now years removed from competition, it's watching her son excel that's been the drive for Cheryl. It's been awesome. I mean, we, we knew he has the athletic ability, and to see it um, come full circle is great. I mean, he, he's got the ability, and now it's just up to Tony to take it to wherever he wants to go. Um, the, the sky's the limit. And he, I think, knows that, and um, it's up to Tony what he wants to do. The day always comes when a child's ability surpasses that of their parents. And while Tony's owned the baseball field this summer, step inside a minute. You'll find at the ping pong table, it's still Cheryl holding court. <laughs> With Chief Photojournalist Mike Latta, I'm Ross Rawling, Sports 10.